Ahmad Yasrita. Jangan lupa saksikan Feel Good Show dari hari Isnin sehingga Jumaat pukul 9 hingga 10.30 pagi, okey? Hey. Hey, cantik. Hey. Janu, ew. Please show some respect. I'm a lady, okay? Alah, make it relax lah. Itu sikit saja. I faham, I faham. I respect women and that is exactly apa yang kita semua kena buat. Kita kena menghormati dan menghargai wanita kerana hari ini adalah Hari Gadis Sedunia. Jadi, we are celebrating people like you, Megan. Congratulations, Megan. Dan hari ini dalam segmen community, kita nak tahu apakah maksud kebebasan bagi wanita di luar sana. Jadi, sama-samalah kita saksikan dalam segmen community. Exactly. You better recognize, Kianu, sebab jangan pandang ku sebelah mata. Hanya kena nama ku wanita. Walau ada kelemahannya, wow. engkau pun apa tidaknya. Tak minta indah. Ya, yeah, buat nasib baik saya tak akan menyanyi dalam segmen Senang Terhibur nanti. Tetapi kita ada super girls kami iaitu D-Fam yang akan menghiburkan kami dan juga kita akan membincangkan tentang peranan artis dalam mencorakkan kehidupan seorang gadis sempena hari gadis sedunia. Aduh, au, au, au. Janu, what are you doing? Aduh, Tadi, aduh. sekarang buat apa pula? Yelah, sebab awak dah tak nak IT card you, I terpaksa lah selesai. Sebab hari ini dalam segmen Tukar angin hari ini, kita akan ada dua gadis yang cukup cantik dan I would say mereka berdua ni setanding dengan Nana Al-Halik kita. Kita ada seorang fitness influencer dari Thailand dan juga seorang MMA fighter dari Malaysia untuk mengajar saya macam mana saya nak menjadi seorang yang lagi fit lah. Because um, you know, even though back then kita menggunakan tema PE ataupun physical education, <laughs> yeah. my time was pendidikan jasmati dan Pendidikan jasmari dan kesihatan dah lama sangat tak pergi sekolah. Ya, yeah, dan dah lama sangat tak buat yeah. PJK. That's why. Either way, I need to get fit dan sama-samalah kita get fit dalam segmen Tukar Angin. Betul. Semua ini dan banyak lagi hanya di Feel Good, Good Show. Sama macam ini. Aduh. 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 Selamat pagi semua. Chau San Sawadika. Yes, today memang indie kita kena kena cakap Sawadika because we've got a Thai person with us di Feel Good Show. Mm -hmm. That's why you need to stay put di Feel Good Show. And besides that, jangan lupa juga untuk follow kami di social media kami di Feel Good Show 7 dan jangan lupa hashtagkan Feel Good Show 7 di Facebook, Twitter dan juga Instagram. Betul. Kalau anda ada sebarang komen atau pertanyaan, but before that, selamat pagi dan selamat menonton Feel Good Show yes. bersama saya Megan Tan dan juga Kianu Azman. Yeah. Hey, you yeah, kena yeah, yeah. belajar nak say my name is in Thai tadi. Ya, yeah, ada lupa. You ingat ke? Nak no, tak. Oh, alamak. Nanti kita tanya guest kita lah, I think kan. By the way, jangan juga lupa untuk save our phone number 0355692533. Mm. Ya, yeah, and I baru nak cakap ada lama tak host dengan Kianu sebab Same. sebelum ni tiga tiga kali berturut-turut dengan Erwin Dawson tak tahu kenapa but huh a relief from Erwin. Apa apa yang um, terbaru oh. dalam kehidupan Kianu ni? <laughs> terbaru dengan kehidupan I? Yeah. The last time the host asked me what was new with me, I cakap yeah. I dah start exercise, I dah start diet. Mm -hmm. What's new today is I have not lost any weight. <laughs> I don't know why. Jadi kita akan sama-sama teruka, teruka kenapa I tak lose weight lagi nanti dengan kita punya guest dalam sihat dan steady dengan tukar angin nantilah. That's why dalam sama tukar angin you akan host because then our our power girls are going to teach you how to lose weight. Okay? That is right. And you know what's new with me? What? Semalam I pergi supermarket um, beli sweet potato. Okay. Dan disebabkan orang tu salah key in satu nombor je, my okay. one sweet potato jadi RM17. What? I know, nasib baik saya perasan and I was like, what kind of sweet potato is this? Is it made of gold? No wonder. I mean, thank goodness you check lah. Ya. Yeah. Kalau tak. Jadi kepada penonton di luar sana, bila pergi beli barang tu, kenalah cek harga. Yes. Kenalah cek betul ke harga betul. tu. It was actually just one ringgit and seventy cents. Jadi tujuh belas ringgit ya. Jadilah uh, consumer yang bijak okay, kepada penonton-penonton Feel Good Show. Okay, sekarang ini kita nak pergi ke trending pagi ini. Jom kita tengok video ini dulu. Yes. Apa yang trending baru-baru ini? I think they're scared of me. They've never seen this match. Okay, perbezaan sedang berjalan. Nice tu. I love you.
Baiklah. Berita trending pagi ini. Kenapa ni, Megan? No, no, tak. Sebab uh, nampak... <laughs> Terhibur, eh? Tak fokus di Zantu. That's why, you know, every time kena nah. control, maintain muka. Yeah. Tak tahu ap, uh, kamera maintain mana muka, eh? yang akan menunjukkan muka kita orang. It applies like, to the our studio cameras as well. Which cameras on now? Aduh, betul. Kan, saya pun tengok tengok gelak tengok orang tu, kan? Desainnya muka. <laughs> Ah, tak tahulah Zizan cakap apa kan. Baik, ini kita pergi ke berita trending pagi ini yang pertama kita. Mm -hmm. Semalam, Jabatan Meteorologi, Me Meteorologi Malaysia telah pun menjangka bahawa uh, Malaysia akan dilanda dengan ribut, uh, dengan hujan lebat dan juga angin kencang di beberapa negeri di Malaysia seperti Kedah, Kelantan, Terengganu dan juga Johor dan beberapa lagi negeri di Malaysia. ya Dengan jangkaan um, wind speed sebanyak 50 km sejam which is a bit worrying lah. Dan uh, ini telah pun dijangka untuk berlarutan sehingga pukul 11 pagi hari ini. Jadi kepada mereka yang berada di negeri-negeri yang saya sebut tadi, we hope that you, you are very safe. Apa pun, if you are watching this, why not update bersama dengan kami keadaan di negeri-negeri tersebut. Hashtag kan Feel Good Show tujuh di Facebook, Twitter dan juga Instagram. Dan ke berita seterusnya yang juga membimbangkan baru-baru ini Kementerian Kesihatan telah ya. uh, mengumumkan bahawa survei tahun lepas menunjukkan bahawa 10% antara pelajar-pelajar di sekolah menengah yang pernah terfikir untuk membunuh diri. Dan daripada 10% tersebut, 7.3% pernah merancang untuk membunuh diri dan 6.9% pernah cuba untuk membunuh diri. Dan dikatakan sebab utama pelajar-pelajar tersebut um, pernah terfikir untuk bunuh diri adalah kerana masalah keluarga. Dan kita pun pernah dengar um, kes Tahun ini di mana seorang pelajar tingkatan tiga yang telah bunuh diri sebelum Betul. ujian um, beliau. So ini adalah satu isu yang sangat-sangat membimbangkan. Jadi kepada penonton di luar sana yang mungkin mengalami masalah kemurungan ataupun pernah terfikir untuk um, meragut nyawa sendiri, um, janganlah memendamkan perasaan anda sendiri. Tapi ada banyak channel yang anda boleh reach out to. You can watch the show. Hopefully will make you feel better. Ataupun boleh uh, menghubungi Defenders Malaysia. Betul tu. There's a lot of hotlines that you can contact actually. We are all here for you. Make sure you don't keep yourself alone. Ada orang yang boleh contact to seek help from. Baiklah, berita yang seterusnya. Pelakon terkenal di Malaysia, Natasha Hudson, very beautiful as well, I must add. Yep. Telah pun uh, mendapat cerai yang ketiga baru-baru ini. Jadi, uh, walaupun beliau ada tiga orang anak, tapi Natasha Hudson telah berkata bahawa uh, she and her kids are doing fine. Tetapi for now, Natasha Hudson tidak mahu mengulas kenapa uh, beliau telah pun mendapat uh, cerai yang ketiga dalam kehidupannya. Mm -hmm. Well, in fact, besides that, kita dah lama juga tak nampak Natasha Hudson on screens. I used to love her films. I think she's a great right. actress. Let's hope that you know in the closest time, kita akan tengok balik Natasha Hudson on the big screens mm -hmm. di layar we... Perak, Malaysia. God, we look forward to your comeback, hopefully, if you're watching Natasha yes. Hudson. Anyways, kepada berita seterusnya yang juga berkaitan dengan Kementerian Kesihatan di mana Kementerian Kesihatan telah menyarankan kan kepada pengguna-pengguna di luar sana supaya tidak membeli atau menggunakan 14 jenama kosmetik ini yang dikatakan mengandungi bahan-bahan yang membahayakan Alamak. seperti hydroquinone, tretinoin, diphen, hydramin dan juga mercury sebab bahan-bahan ini diklasifikasikan sebagai produk farmasutikal dan sepatutnya mendapatkan kelulusan tapi jenama-jenama produk tersebut kecantikan tersebut tidak mendapatkan kelulusan dan bahan-bahan um, yang terkandung dalam produk-produk tersebut boleh mengakibatkan uh, kulit sensitif, kemerahan, discomfort dan mungkin juga boleh um, Uh, menambahkan risiko untuk kanser kulit dan damage your kidneys as well. Jadi Bahaya kepada, kan? Chemical-chemical. Yes, chemical very, kan? very dangerous. So, if you're not sure about the products, the beauty products that you're using, bolehlah check. pergi ke laman yes. web, check first yes. adakah um, jenama tersebut tersenarai dalam list tersebut dan juga kalau ada sebarang pertanyaan ataupun persoalan mengenai produk kecantikan tersebut which you're not sure about, bolehlah email cosmetic at npra.gov.my. That's right, Megan. Baiklah, sekarang berita yang terakhir dalam segmen trending pagi ini kita hari ini adalah negara, pasport negara Jepun telah mencatat rekod sebagai pasport yang paling kuat di dunia setelah mengatasi negara Singapura. Ini adalah berdasarkan um, Henley's Passport Index 2018. And okay, basically Henley's Passport Index ni adalah uh, menunjukkan kedudukan pasport sebuah negara berdasarkan bilangan negara yang boleh dilawati oleh sesebuah 
uh, negara itu tanpa mendapatkan visa. Yes. So basically these are the current top 4 in the world lah for the passports. Nombor 1 adalah Jepun, nombor 2 Singapura mm -hmm. dan nombor 3 adalah Amerika Syarikat dan yang keempat adalah United Kingdom. That's right. Itu sajalah berita-berita yang kita nak kongsikan pada pagi ini yeah, jika betul. kita terlepas apa-apa benda yang trending, bolehlah anda hashtag kami at Feel Good Show 7. Um, kami nak berhenti seketika selepas ini dalam segmen Dapur Affairs. Mm. Kianu pernah dengar tak kacang pu? I pernah dengar tapi I tak tahu apa dia and macam mana nak buat. I pun, it's okay. Dalam segmen Dapur Affairs selepas ini kami akan uh, mengetahui apakah sebenarnya kacang pu dan cara menyediakannya. Dan dalam segmen Sihat dan Steady selepas ini, sempena World Side Day. Yes, Megan, it's not just World Girls Day by the way. Besides yeah. celebrating women, celebrating girls, kita juga nak mengetahui dengan lebih mendalam tentang masalah mata dan macam mana kita nak mengelakkan daripada menjadi buta dalam mm -hmm. segmen Sihat dan Sedih sebentar lagi. Mm -hmm. Jumpa lagi selepas ini hanya dalam Feel Good, Good Show. Show. Selamat kembali ke Feel Good Show. Itulah dia 10 fakta mengenai mata yang mungkin anda tidak tahu. A lot of things that kita orang pun tak really tahu, right? That's right. That's right. Uh, selamat kembali ke Feel Good Show. Anda masih lagi bersama saya, Megan Tan dan juga Kianu Azman. Dan seperti mana yang anda lihat di kaca TV anda tadi, hari ini merupakan World Sight Day. That's why we want to focus on penglihatan. Sebab kita telah baca bahawa ramai yang kini rabun berjuta-juta. Yes, we're talking about 1.3 million yang juga menghidap glaukoma. So kita nak beri kesedaran kepada diri kita sendiri dan juga penonton di luar sana untuk elakkan dari menjadi buta. Betul tu Megan. Jadi tanpa melengahkan masa lagi kami nak menjemput tetamu kita Dr. Sunita Padmanaben, seorang ophthalmologist dari Columbia Hospital Petaling Jaya. Welcome, Doctor. Hi, Doctor Sunita. Thank you, thank you. Apa khabar, Doctor? Bye. Thank you so much for joining us yes. here today Good on World you. Sight Day. Yes. Yes. Okay, Sight Day. Doctor. So first things first. Yes. Macam tadi, we already read a bit of the statistics lah right. in the world about mm. around 1.3 million people are blind. Yeah. So, um, Doctor, first question. Apakah sebenarnya adalah punca utama orang menjadi rabun ataupun buta? Okay. Um, let's talk about uh, Memang sekarang kita cakap tentang orang yang memang beransur umur lah, maknanya yeah. 50 ke lebih lah. Yeah. That's the chances bila kita cakap uh, patient akan jadi buta. Uh, not exactly buta lah, But maknanya rabun, rabun mm -hmm. ke ataupun uh, kurang penglihatan yep. lah katanya. Um, there are few very, the few that are very important. One yeah. is of course the natural way lah which is press biopia lah orang kata mm -hmm. rabun uh, susah membaca 
as beran suhu mo kan. As we grow older, especially 45 and above, <coughs> you will always have the problem of reading. Yeah. So that's the problem. Yang tu senang saja. Sama ada pergi ke kedai, cek mata, selalunya dengan cermin mata, no problem. It will have, it will be treated as no problem at all. The next, of course, is uh, something a little more dangerous. Mm -hmm. Maybe like diabetic retinopathy, right, right. and then you have your ARMD or or what we call age-related macular degeneration. Yeah. So those are the more dangerous ones. And right. the other one, of course, is glaucoma. So yang ni memang penyakit penyakit ni memang uh, patient akan mengidap bila dia dah umur beransur 50 lebih. Seperti mana yang kita lihat di kaca TV kita sekarang, what what exactly causes the eyes to be red and oh my goodness? Selain faktor umur, of course, because youngsters today pun Memang. ramai yang dah rabun. Kan? See the thing is kalau orang kata mengapa mata kita merah, yeah. mata merah tu senang saja. Apa apa yang kita menangis pun kita akan garu skip mata garu skip mata exactly garu skip pun mata akan merah. Yeah. Yeah. So but kalau kata mata merah ada ke dia bersama uh, sakit mata ke mata penglihatan sudah kurang ke ada uh, satu things yang kita kena tengok lah. Mm -hmm. uh, so kalau nak kata yes that one thing tu memang tak ada lah. Right. It's And also difficult. if we look at um, our TV screens right now kita ada statistik um, penglihatan. Yes, it's actually the Southeast Asia punya statistik. Southeast yes, Asia. Southeast Asia mungkin statistic. doctor boleh komen sedikit? Yeah. So memang statistik Southeast Asia sekarang mengatakan the four diseases yang kita mention tadi, yeah. one is refractive error lah. Mm -hmm. It's sad sebab uh, refractive error sekarang Southeast Asia punya statistik mengatakan 43%. Mm -hmm. Tapi rabun kalau mengatakan rabun dekat ke rabun jauh ke apa-apa senang saja diubati kan. Right. Orang bagi cuma mata no problem, it's, it's heat problem. But the problem is uh, people are not getting it. They are right. not getting spectacle, so that's why the percentage is so high. So the rest tu yang 34 persen, lepas tu diabetic retinopathy 4, 2 persen, uh, diabetic retinopathy 0.7 persen saya rasa. Okay, yang tu, I rasa memang uh, is dangerous. Mm -hmm. One is, and the other thing is, kalau I rasa kat Malaysia tu songsang sikit, uh, diabetic retinopathy saya rasa kat Malaysia kalau kita buat sendiri punya yeah. statistik memang tinggi lah. Right. Yeah, because It's The latest study is dalam 80-an, 6% saja daripada population yang diabetic. Ah. Dalam 90-an, jadi 12%. So tiap-tiap dekat dia, higher higher yes. higher. So it's safe to say Berganda. it's due to the food then maybe. Yes, then definitely. Adakah, it's lifestyle. Adakah um, makanan yang kita boleh makan supaya... Mencegah tu, daripada... Ya, mencegah mendapat masalah, masalah, masalah rambut. Mencegah saya rasa tak lah. Tapi choice on food yang kita makan tu kita kena tukar sikit lah. Okay, that is... Uh, I've heard this before. Yeah. Orang kata kalau you makan tiram, that could actually avoid you from really? getting... Really? I should ask what is tiram? Tiram is oyster. 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 Oh, oyster. I thought it was true. just carrots that help you with your eyesight, tapi, no? Itu yeah. fashion punya laku. I don't know, these days people keep saying fancy, that yeah? oyster can help. Is really? that true, doctor? Boleh sahkan well, tak? Well, oysters are zero fat lah, I guess. So, but I don't think it's actually going to help you. So, lah. scientifically speaking, tak ada eh? Okay, I, I have to check. But I don't think so. Not not that specifically lah. Right, kalau ya, I dah I would go out makan seafood, makan oyster. Right, but we'll all yeah. be so broke as well from eating oysters. <laughs> That's actually correct. You know what, doctor? Bukan Megan dengan saya jadi soalan-soalan tu doktor. Okay. Kita dah bertanya kepada orang di oh, orang awam juga okay, tentang okay. mata yang nak tanya pada doktor. Jom kita saksikan doktor. Curious about something like kalau pakai contact lens after dia punya tarikh luput right? Like ada apa-apa side effect tak dekat mata kita? Oh, Very good question. Yang paling susah dijawab. Oh really? Uh, the reason is because I think the the trend of contact lenses tu Uh, is uh, memang dah haywire sikit lah. Everybody is taking it too easy lah. Mm -hmm. If you, I think the the if you know at the end of the day apa yang akan terjadi kalau you pakai contact lens yang dah uh, duput dia punya tarikh yeah. kan. Yeah. The problem is you can get corneal ulcer. Yeah, ulcer tu maknanya luka mata mm -hmm. sampai ke belakang Aduh. boleh jadi buta. Okay, oh, so yeah. kalau you tahu yang tu, will you wear it if it's already expired? I think it's better not to just wear it at all lah. I agree. Why do you think I wear glasses? There you go. <laughs> Good point right there. Okay, kita ada soalan seterusnya dari um, orang awam. Let's take a Betul look. ke pakai contact lens uh, ketika tidur boleh membutakan mata? 
Wow, a lot contact of questions lagi. about contact, contact lens. Goes back to what yes. you said earlier. Ramai tak nak pakai glasses. <laughs> they just want to use contact yes, lens. Yes, you'll be surprised. I get patients who don't even own a pair of glasses. Pakai contact tapi, lens tapi je 24 jam. Kan? Memang rabun. Uh. Pakai contact lens 24 jam je. Right. So, And boleh then, ke tidur yeah. with contact lens? It is not right. You have to understand, kita punya mata ni bernafas mm -hmm. daripada keluar tau, right. dan ke dalam. So, kalau kita pakai contact lens, kita macam tercekikkan mata. Imagine right. if you strangle yourself the whole day, kurangkan you punya oksigen, sama you lah mata. You are suffocating. Your eyes pun yes, need exactly. a breather as well. Your eye also needs a breather when, it's, when you're sleeping. Betul. Jadi, right. biarlah mata anda bernafas <laughs> yes, ketika please. tidur. So, let's take our next question. Let's see if it's also about contact lenses. <laughs> Again. No, but... Everybody's interested in that. Oh, so, uh, about if every night I play my phones, how about after 10 years, any effect about my eyes. Oh, ini right. tabiat yang kita semua suka sebelum tidur dan selepas bangun juga. Very relatable, ya? Yeah? Tengok phone. <laughs> and it's especially bad apparently if it's the whole environment exactly. is dark and then you're looking at phone. That's the worst yeah. thing to do actually because the entire room is dark and it's just your phone that's got lights on. Right. So you're not only getting radiation from your phone but you're also um, Texting your eye actually yep. because you know the surrounding is dark. It's just your phone that's lighted. It yeah. can actually uh, cause problems. In fact, um, you your rabun untuk membaca tu will become worse actually earlier. Mm. Yeah, because you you're texting your eye. And kita will gunakan kind of... gadget gadget kita. I think yes, the most we rely day on it. Most completely. of the hours are used with using a gadget. Exactly. Okay, so Alan, yang seterusnya. Uh, sebagai uh, seorang yang pakai spek, saya tak tahu ada kaitan ke tak Sebab saya kalau bekerja di uh, live show especially uh, Bila kita terlalu fokus kan, kita akan rasa stres dekat mata ni tau Ada apa-apa connection tak? Yang boleh doktor terangkan ke? Dengan pakai cermin mata? Ya, yeah. wearing specs and then bila fokus terlalu lama macam too much pressure to the eyes or not? One is whether or not sama ada spektikal tu cukup uh, power tak untuk dia. Ah. So kalau power tu kurang memang dia akan stresskan mata sebab dia nak cuba melihat kan. Yeah. Walaupun power dia kurang, dia cuba nak fokus tapi yang tu memang stresskan lah. You will feel tired after that definitely. Right. But if it's the correct power, it should not lah. Mm. Yeah. yeah, find okay. the correct power. <coughs> okay, soalan yeah. yang seterusnya. Saya nak tanya ni, ketumbik ni boleh meribak ke? Ketumbik. Sebab saya tengok ada sesetengah orang yang ada dan yang lain macam tak ada so apa penyebab ketumbik ini actually actually that's a very good question because i think lately I, a lot of people i kenal i tak pernah kenal so far kenal. but people i tak pernah kenal but people around me have ada ketumbik so i want to is it contagious actually the, it's not contagious the uh -huh. reason for the ketumbik is the weather right oh, yeah. so it's true yeah. because it's too it's hot really heaty hot, kan? uh -huh. kalau heaty memang you akan kena ketumbik ketumbik tu apa Maknanya dia It's apa like macam It does have like a pimple on your eye It is a pimple Essentially yeah. With uh. a little bit of nanah kat dalam mm -hmm. tu right. It is essentially a pimple So how would you get a pimple? Heaty It's yeah. really hot And pimples do not It's not contagious yeah. And somehow rather You're regulations We don't have the habit of drinking enough water So Right. Ah. Heatiness is very common. Right. Jadi apakah nasihat doktor untuk penonton di luar sana um, bila kita bercakap tentang cara untuk menjaga hmm. mata kita? Okay. Kalau kita kata uh, if you are a young person, uh, there's really not much you can do lah. Mm -hmm. Kalau you pakai cermin mata, saya cadangkan tiap-tiap uh, setahun ke dua tahun, mm -hmm. baik pergi cek sebab right. powernya boleh bertukar. But as you grow older, kalau you are 50 over and above, my my advice is setiap tahun check check mata, ah. find an ophthalmologist Aish. and check mata. I will hook up a appointment with you, doctor. Yes. I need to check. Dah bertahun-tahun tak check, ya? <laughs> right. Okay, doctor. Sekarang ni kita nak main pop quiz dengan yes. doktor. Sekarang kita nak check otak kita pula. Yes. Tengok our knowledge about eyes. Jom, doktor. This is going to be fun. This is going to be very scary. Yeah. <laughs> Because um, hari ini uh, sempena World Sight Day. Day, hopefully pengetahuan dan ilmu yang kita telah pelajari dari doktor akan membantu kami dalam pop quiz ini di mana yes. kita akan diuji mengenai mengenai penglihatan. So doktor, ad anda adalah host pop quiz oh. untuk hari ini dan peserta-pesertanya <laughs> adalah Chanu Azman dan saya Megan Tan. So I believe doctor you have some questions yes, for I us do, which actually. we have to hopefully answer, answer correctly. 
Okay, jom okay. kita saksikan. What is the first question? <laughs> Soalan pertama. Untuk... Oh, oh alamak. Wow, oh. Subik, adakah mata kita sebesar, sebesar bola, bola ping-pong? Ping Tid... Uh, um, salah. Tiring, saya kata betul. Nak jaga maka ke ni? 50-50. <laughs> Boleh tak saya jaga maka? Yes. Um, siapa yang kata betul? She's right. I, yes. I was about to say that. No, no. <laughs> I mean, how man. else? How big can your eye be, right? So it is like a ping pong. It's, a, wow. it's about the and size of a ping pong ball. And adakah semua orang punya mata sama saiz? Yes, nearly. Oh. Um, that's actually not true. Kalau you rabun, rabun mata you panjang yeah. sikit lah. Ah. Tapi agak-agak lah. Oh, it's wow. about the ping pong. So trivia hari ini kita dapat tahu mata kita sebesar bola ping pong. Satu yes. kosong. Next Betul. question. Betul. Okay. Soalan seterusnya. seterusnya. Okay, doktor lah Madrid. Doktor bacakan soalan. Okay. Ha. Iris merupakan bahagian mata yang paling berwarna-warni. Science, come on, science. Tiga tiga, tiga, come on. Ini, 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 ini. Yes, you got this. Betul ke? Obviously, betul. Betul. <laughs> Obviously, betul. I mean, you see blue eyes, green eyes, kan? Yeah, that's yeah, right. Yeah. 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 That's what that. they mean. Mm -hmm. Actually, essentially, it's not that mean, lah. But let's not go into the technical. Right. Terms. Jadi warna mata adalah kerana iris. Yes. Ah, there you go. Betul. Betul. All right. Next question. <laughs> I'm winning this pop quiz. We both got a tie. Oh okay. no, no, you're winning, yes. Bayi mengelipkan mata lebih banyak daripada dia. Ini, 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 ini. Betul. Salah. Eh, betul. Siapa yang nak betul salah ni? Betul. Saya kata salah. But she has a baby. So, kalau oh, dia betul, I... then, well, <laughs> it explains lah. Okay, kita tanya doktor. Doktor, okay? apa jawapannya? Salah. You be blink the same amount of time whether you're a baby or not. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, this this sama lah? Sama. Oh, okay. We blink about 20 times in a minute. 20 times, 20 kali seminit. Yes. Tidak kira anda dewasa ataupun bayi, anda mengelipkan mata sebanyak 20 kali seminit. Betul. Lebih kurang. Tanpa kita sedar pun sebenarnya. Kan? Right. Okey, ada soalan lagi ke? Okey. Anda boleh membersihkan kantar lekap dengan hanya menggunakan air. Ini, ini, ini. Walaupun saya tak pakai contact lens, tapi jawapannya salah. Ya, yes, salah. Aku Betul. Sila. Looks okay, like Megan won. What is the explanation for it, Doctor? The reason is because the water yang kita guna daripada, katakanlah, daripada tap, kan? Ya. Yeah. Berkuman. Mm -hmm. That's why kita macam guna, like, the chops. Exactly. So, the special preparations are the best. Yeah. Right. No, oh, jangan guna air untuk bas uh, basikal yes, kantar. Yes, jangan. Tolong jangan guna air. Yeah. <laughs> Nampaknya kita ada satu lagi soalan untuk Keanu redeem himself. Hopefully, this question... <laughs> okay. I like looking at his losing face, you know? <laughs> Mata manusia... Hanya boleh melihat tiga warna. Tiga warna. Oh my god, this is a tricky one. Okay. Uh, salah, Doktor. We can see a lot of colours. More than three. Ini, ini, ini. I want to say betul. She's dangerous, okay? She is yeah. dangerously correct, I believe. <laughs> yes, she is correct. Essentially, she is warna correct. Asas, oh, yes, kan? tiga warna asas. Three I'm basic colours. 10 A SPM. 10 A. Oh, ada question lagi, eh? Producer, ada question lagi? Okay, it's not the last question, Megan. It's not the last oh, question. Oh, oh, oh. I can so still you can redeem still myself. Redeem yourself. Yes, I Come can. on, at least get one, right? Fine, last question, please. Yes. Kenapa I tak prep awal-awal ni? <laughs> Semasa di angkasa, air mata angkasawan akan mengalir. Oh my gosh. Oh, cannot. No, salah. Oh, this one I don't know. Oh, wait, I think so lah. I think so lah. Oh at least confident kan? <laughs> Okay. Air mata Betul ke salah ni? Angkasawan akan mengalir. Air mata. I mean, I, space, if you see, do you, do you see the no? Oh, oh, gravity, or not? gravity, is it? No. no. I don't know. I, I, I yeah. cannot answer this one. I that's mean, I'm sure one. if you cry and it goes off, then it floats lah. But that's it. It's not going to mengalir. Jawapannya? Tidak, right? Tidak. Finally! <laughs> well done. Soalan, enam soalan. Enam soalan. Untuk mendapat satu soalan yang betul. Okay, Dan jawapannya jawapan adalah salah. salah. Yeah. Is there any explanation untuk benda ni? I mean, it, it makes no difference. You, you're you still going to tear the same way. It doesn't make right, a difference. Right, Jadi right, kesimpulannya right. dalam pop quiz ni, Megan lebih tahu tentang mata daripada Keanu Azman. Yeah, okay, betul. sebelum kami mengakhiri segmen pada hari ini, kita nak mengucapkan terima kasih kepada Dr. Sunita kerana you're sudi datang welcome. ke Feel Good Show untuk berkongsi ilmu dan pengetahuan bersama kami tentang penglihatan dan diharapkan yep. penonton di luar sana telah Tahu sedikit sebanyak tentang mata dan jagalah mata anda betul-betul. Pergilah, pergilah buat pemeriksaan yeah, dan betul. makan tiram tu 
itu tak semestinya boleh membantu penglihatan. Yes, itu kita kena check balik doktor kan kita mahu check. Yes. Lah. And like doktor cakap tadi, check your eyes at least once a month. Once yeah. a year. Once a year, once a year. I once a year pun tak buat lagi. Anyway, terima kasih doktor. Terima kasih. Okey, kepada uh, anda semua di rumah sana jangan pergi mana-mana kerana selepas ini kita ada segmen tukar angin bersama dengan Meiji Anorma dan juga Anne Osman. Jumpa lagi selepas ini hanya dalam Feel, Feel Good, Good Show. Show. Thank you Thanks, doktor. Thank you. Wow. You know, banyak aktiviti, kerja, stres, semua tu. So, I rasa macam kalau kita dapat buat aktiviti, you know, outdoors dan benda macam tu, boleh mengurangkan stres kita. I think it's important for girls to stay fit and healthy first, to look better and of course to feel healthy about themselves. Of course, it's so, so penting sebab it's also very good for when we age, you know, when we get older. Sebab kita orang kan macam prone to osteoporosis lah and all these like other diseases that hospitals and doctors tell us. So, I think it's great to start early, exercise now so that nanti in the future you will have a better life. I rasa penting sebab uh, you kena buat benda tu untuk diri you. Uh, I rasa a lot of the girls nowadays dia orang macam nak buat untuk orang lain, tak buat untuk diri dia sendiri sebab dia nak jadi hot. Dia orang buat untuk orang lain. So, I rasa kena tukar that mindset to buat untuk diri you because a healthy body is a healthy mind. Selamat kembali. Good show ada masih lagi bersama dengan saya Kianu Azman. Okey, jadi sekarang kita bersama, berada dalam segmen sihat dan uh, tukar angin. Jadi dalam segmen tukar angin ni kita nak berbincang sedikit tentang fitness sebab sangat penting macam kita tengok tadi dalam uh, Vox Pop tadi it is so important especially hari ini adalah hari gadis sedunia jadi we want to talk about how women get fit how women stay fit and healthy jadi kita akan bersama dengan dua gadis yang cukup fit cukup memang nampak atletik macam Nana Al-Halik kita kita ada Meiji Anorma seorang fitness influencer dari Thailand dan juga Anne Osman seorang MMA fighter dari Malaysia jemput tetamu kita Where are our guests? Di manakah mereka? Wow, warming up at the back first. Huh? Hello, Sawadika. Yes. Sawadika. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yindi tidak ada lecak ha. Terima kasih banyak-banyak lah, nak kaki mah di sini. Terima kasih banyak-banyak lah, nak kaki mah di sini. Terima kasih banyak-banyak lah, nak kaki mah di sini. Terima kasih banyak-banyak lah, nak kaki mah di sini. Terima kasih banyak-banyak lah, nak kaki mah di sini. Terima kasih banyak-banyak lah, nak kaki mah di sini. Terima kasih banyak-banyak lah, nak kaki mah di sini. Terima kasih banyak-banyak lah, nak kaki mah di sini. Terima kasih banyak-banyak lah, nak kaki mah di sini. Terima kasih banyak-banyak lah, nak kaki mah di sini. Terima kasih banyak-banyak lah, nak kaki mah di sini. Terima kasih banyak-banyak lah, nak kaki mah di sini. Terima kasih banyak-banyak lah, nak kaki mah di sini. Terima kasih banyak-banyak lah, nak kaki mah di sini. I am memang tak boleh compare lah. It's okay. You look good yourself. Jadi macam saya sebut tadi, Anne Osman merupakan MMA fighter di Malaysia. Miss Martial Arts di Malaysia ni eh. Dan juga kita ada Meiji dari Thailand. You are a fitness influencer. Yes, yes. Okay, so I will start asking to you first, Meiji. Yes. Because you cannot speak Malay yet, right? Not yet. Um, I will soon after this because I've stayed with you a day, I will, for sure. We will go for a Malay class after this. Don't worry about it. But I think you can speak Thai with me first, just right now. Right. Yeah, just a bit. All right, so Meiji, what motivated you to start working out, to start being fit, to inspire women um, out there? You know, the people always think about, okay, Meiji, you look very strong right yeah. now. But you know, before I um, turned back about last 10 years ago, I'm not strong like this. I'm very thin more than this. Really? Yeah, and then the people think about because uh, you're already thin already, you don't have to exercise. But you know, like turned back for last, um, when I was 20 years old, yeah. I was about 43 kilogram about my weight right. and then I have very bad RG symptom. I have the low immune system. These are your current pictures? Yeah, my current picture now. And then, uh, you know, before wow. I'm not strong like this, I'm sick every couple, day, every couple of days. And you know, per year, I went to admit yep. in the hospital about at least about 
two or three times because like, for example, when you cough to me a little bit, uh -huh. I will get flu immediately really? in the hospital. Wow. Yeah, because I have very really low immune system. Right. That's why when you have low immune system, system wow. antibody, that's why you can get sick very easy. Yeah. And then also I have very bad allergy symptoms with the carpet, with yeah. the cats, with the pet hair. You think mm. it's like I'm hard to living in the in the world, right? Because like when you allergy, everything is hard to living. That's right. With. That's right. In mm -hmm. fact, I really like what Niji said earlier about you were thin and you felt like you know yes. you were just thin. But then again, being healthy is not about being thin. It's about keeping fit. It is healthy That's living. True. That is what yeah. being healthy is all yeah, about. Yeah, yeah. The most people think is about like okay, I don't need to lose weight. That's why I'm thin already. Wrong. I don't have to go Wrong. to the gym. Wrong. You know. That's right. So you are Miss Fitness, and right here we've got Miss Martial Arts. <laughs> why did you start going? to martial arts, what motivates you for that? Well, basically to empower myself. I mean, um, you know, I like what Meiji's experience, yeah. you know, she was someone different than how she is now because yeah. she has found something that she's truly passionate about. Yeah. And when I started martial arts, I've never, growing up, I've never had any martial art experience or training whatsoever. Right. And I've only picked it up when I was in my mid-twenties. I'm still young now, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> young but strong. Yes, but young, young but strong. strong. Yes. Look, Look at, at you. <laughs> Like by I, I know I would, wouldn't want to mess with you by just looking at your picture. I'm like okay, and, like memang tak boleh take you off. Don't be there. That's with you. Her. Wow. So yeah, that's me now. But I was such a different person back then. Um, what got me into martial arts? Yeah. Uh, basically, was to find something that I could use to train and defend myself. That's right. That's right. I think you know staying fit, keeping healthy. There's a lot of ways to do that. Not necessarily yes. you know you just go to the gym and you exercise. Martial arts is also one of the ways. Yes, and it's a two-in-one package basically. Yeah. I mean, you get to learn the tools and equipments and skills that yep. will help you to defend yourself. Right. And I think that's very empowering. Definitely. And also, it's a really great way to stay fit. So yep. it works, you know, both ways. That's so right. that was exactly that got me into training martial arts. And you know, speaking of that kind, of, one thing yang can you memang suka adalah dulu kecergasan atau fitness was very synonymous dengan lelaki. I mean, we know that okay, getting fit is a it's a guy thing. It's Betul. always men. But these days, I think women are already getting ahead of men. When it comes <laughs> yes, to they are. And, and so you know, for healthy. me, uh, when I was and in Bangkok, uh -huh. I always compete with the men all the time uh -huh. because we think it's about now is it does matter with how the gender we are. Mm -hmm. Right. But you know, that's we you, can. Meiji. That's me. Yeah, I love my dancing. This so is, is that uh, aerobics? Is that Zumba? Yeah. Because in Malaysia, we've got Zumba. We've got aerobics. Um, I mix everything. That? Um, body combat, Muay Thai, Ooh. dance, hip hop, Pilates. Yeah. Uh, because I like to mix everything to Together. like like the salad. You know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you know, you can really see how much you love what you do. Yeah. You can tell how much a person loves what they're doing by just looking at, at how passionate they are when they carry That's out their true. activities. Yeah. Right? The people thing is about like when when you feel love something you do yep. it you don't have to try it because That's it's right. come by your habit you right. know yeah you love it by heart isn't it? Yeah. it is yes so talking about like gender you know staying yes. on par with both genders men yep. and women for instance like martial arts you know people think like oh do Anne get it easier because she's a woman no mm -hmm. actually I run the same miles the so okay. same kilometers as the guys do and yep. you know I train with guys yep. most of it because yes. you know of course it's a it's a male dominated sport so there's definitely more men yeah. training as opposed yeah. to women when I started there was probably about two women and you know I had to have training partners so who else could I yeah. have than male partners yeah. so it's basically yeah. you know there was no talk about gender when it yeah. comes to training yeah. everyone just trains together yeah, yeah. it's true jadi um, tadi Anne cakap lah bahawa dulu MMA ni atau martial arts was dominated oleh kaum lelaki but these days makin ramai kaum wanita yang semakin join MMA I think it's great lah you know that's true the female roster in one championship keeps growing we Very have well. our we have our champions yeah. our world champions in both two weight classes that's right. a huge development yeah. yeah why do you both think that it's important for girls to start being fit and healthy at a young age you know um, I think it's a uh, fit is not just about your physical body yep. but sometimes when uh, when the people ask me all the time hey Meiji you get fit already Already, why are you still training? But it I say, never stops. It's a lifestyle. No. So I, I say it's about. So sometimes I'm looking forward more than my physical body right. because when I training my body, it means I training my mentality. Yeah. Mentality is mean it's like I just feel like sometimes when you're gonna get strong body yeah. or to get shape in the fit, yeah. you must to make resistance to training your body. But you want to yeah. have the good mentality, you must to resistance your mind. You For go. example, like you starving the sugar. You are craving sugar, yeah. but you must control the sugar by resisting your mind. Learn to be enough. 
and then yeah. how to motivate yourself, how to resist yourself from wake up in the morning to go to the gym. Yeah. You know, and then yeah, I agree. this is yeah. Absolutely. Train your body is mean training your mind. Yeah, this is, yeah. that's the thing lah. Macam Meiji pun cakap tadi kan, healthy mind. Bila kita punya minda sihat, we are, we are very healthy. And at the same time, kita kena buat aktiviti-aktiviti fizikal yang menyihatkan badan kita. Okay, now the both of you. Yes. Let's um, kill me. Kill let's, you. Let's do some activities you here. Jadi I, love I love this what? job. I'm looking forward for kill you for a long time. Okay, so okay, okay. Meiji, before you start, I'm going to start first, okay? Sure. I'm going to do, this is my warm-up. Ini adalah warm-up <laughs> I lah, okay? But okay. I punya warm-up, I need music. Yes? Oh, yeah, okay. Music. Right. So, yeah, you have your own music, you have to change it. Okay. Yes. So, everybody, this is how you can do warm-up. Use right, it. I want to say that. Please. Okay. I love it. Oh, 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 let's do some Baywatch, Baywatch, Baywatch. Come on, more harder, more harder. <laughs> Not even breaking a sweat. <laughs> okay. There you go, there you go, okay, it's go like this. And out. Orang lain ada cara-cara lain untuk exercise. This is mine. Kenapa butang air masih? Why is it there? You gotta take okay, off everybody, your follow me. This is mine. Okay, ready. <laughs> yes, yes. All right, go. 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 <laughs> Go, okay, now change. Legs, 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 everybody. Oh. <laughs> physical! I want more physical! Yes. I'm not warm yet. I'm not even like this. I should yet. be having a headband on my head. I want to do it like the 80s, like the 70s. I'm really sleeky oh. pants. Oh, you guys are going to be able to do it tomorrow. I'm warming up. Okay. That is. Uh, you okay, got that is sweat already. You got sweat already? Itulah, baru buat sikit dah berapa bulan. Now, let's see what workout am I going to do with you. Maybe. So, okay, um, I like to do the rope skipping. This yeah. is uh, Jangan my... Jangan tercabar. Jangan tercabar. Okay, for your face, I'm going to slap your face. Oh, my God. It's okay, that's what the producer yeah, wants. Yeah, and then I really like it because uh, it's a very good cardio. And then it's... Oh, oh. Oh, oh, yes, 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 yes. Normally, my skin is just like this, can you? Just like going front, to the front, to the back. Okay, now masuk kan your tarian. Oh my god. I would trip if I did No way. It's good body coordination. It is, it is actually. Wow. Now you can really see why the body and the mind works together here. That's right, that's right. Habilai. Oh, sorry. Oh my god. I was hoping that this is gonna go. Okay, go try. Oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. Come on, come oh on, come on. Oh god, okay. Alright, wait, wait, wait. Okay, oh. this for you. I give the tail. What give the tail? What tail? <laughs> you have the tail, okay. Oh, oh my god. Yeah, you're yeah, you not shaking your body. You're gonna exercise with your body. Okay, okay. Okay, like this. Okay. Okay. Okay, I got it, I got it, I got it. Let's do this. Be careful. Alright. Hold, hold your coat. Hold your coat. Come on, come on. Oh my god, <laughs> the amount of things that has happened. There's a microphone. I know this. Okay. Oh, it's okay. I got it. I got it, Meiji. Meiji. You have many microphones. Okay. Exercise okay. What is the next move, Meiji? Okay, okay. 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 one week worth of workout. One, so, one year. One year. Okay. One year. Okay. All right. Oh my god, is that it's another type of... It's about to control. I want you to resist. Okay, she can do it. Oh wow. Okay. She can do it. I can't do it. I want you to resist me. This is how to... Oh wow. Okay, you stay still, okay? I just try to resist something okay. to make your... Can we come to the forward a little bit? Okay. All right. All right, she okay. will stay still. All right. And then how you can, like, you oh. know, move your whole body to <laughs> resist it. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay, you can stay longer okay. and then I will touch, go to touch. Oh, oh. And then I'll go to touch your hand. Okay. Go further. I'll go further, okay. Go further. Okay, wow. she will stay still. Yeah. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> go longer. I'm go a punching back. Okay. Oh! Yes. Okay, Meiji, Meiji, Meiji! Come on, Meiji! Okay, Meiji, let's do this, Meiji! You got this, Meiji! Oh. Oh. You got this, Meiji! I think you can go to the wall. Or Don't that. give up, Meiji! You got this, Meiji! You got this! Oh. What? Yes! Yes! Okay, now. Last one, last one, Meiji! You got this, Meiji! We trained for this, Meiji! <laughs> I feel like I'm in Rocky Balboa. You can tell me a coach. Okay. We have to together. Okay. okay, okay, we're gonna hold right. this one that? for him. I'm going to do it. Yeah, for I this one, we we you got to go inside. I will go closer. I will go close. Wait, wait. Well, right now, well, how about I'm just 
Bye, Lucy. I'm here. Oh, God. Oh, God. I'm a gold person. No worry, okay? Talk on your butt. I'll out. <laughs> you get chicken oh, yeah, out so Do I run? You're not supposed yes. to walk towards me. You're not supposed to walk towards me. Grab my hand, okay? Oh my god. Ah! This is fine. Oh my god. Ah! Come on, come on, come on, come on. 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 Come on, you engage your core, okay. make it strong, okay. and after okay, that, hold your breath. Okay. Do a thousand meter workout. Hold breath and run. Yeah, because if you not hold your breath, it's really this will go to your. Come on, you can do this. Yeah, you can square it. I've got great support system. Even the okay. coach was telling me you could do it. Come on, you got run. this. Go. Run. Ah! <laughs> I feel like I'm Miss Universe now, right? Really. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, yes, good job, yes, very good. Good, good yeah, job, Ken. Thank you. Good thank you. work. Wow. Good thank work. You. And, so... and I need to know some martial arts, martial arts some MMA from you. Okay. <laughs> now you, this oh. is not enough workout. This one, I will be the victim. Oh, you're not jadi victim. I'm going to show it monster. to you first. So, okay. Okay. So first thing. All yeah. right. So the, I'm going to oh. <laughs> catch your breath. Are you enough fast? Okay. So basically in self-defense, yep. um, it's all about the front line of self-defense is all about precautions. Right. But in case you get into any sticky situation, it's really important for you to yep. be prepared. So that's why it's really important to train martial arts and stuff like that and go to self-defense seminar and practice. That means I'm going to die today because I have no <laughs> practice at all. <laughs> that's how you got to start. You start with the warm-up gun. Beautiful warm-up, by the way. Oh, okay, so I'll do it first, together. Then you kill me. We do it together. I'll do okay. it with you. I want to learn more. All right. So um, the, I'm going to show two techniques. Yeah. Basically, um, the first one is is a front show. Yeah. Okay, so usually I'll have it against a wall. Okay. But it's fine. Let's just pretend there's a wall behind you. Okay, there's a wall here. All right, there's a wall here. So, okay, what happens when someone, you know, pretends to, not pretends, like I someone actually attack you this way? You fight back, you move, move. Okay, so usually what they'll have, they'll put all their pressure onto you. So yeah, Meiji's okay, the wall. Yeah, okay, it will be the wall. Yeah, so Meiji's the wall. So you feel like you're trapped. Be pressed against the yes, wall. Yes, yes. So you're gonna do that on me, okay? I'm well, gonna do that on you. you won't know. That was not part of the deal. <laughs> well, it is now. So you've got, oh okay, so you've got a front choke, okay. Oh God. If someone uses two hands here, okay. it's basically quite hard, right? Yeah. They're gonna put full pressure. They're yeah. gonna stand and put full pressure, especially if a guy who is huge. Right. So you could do two ways. You could either swim your hands ah, out. Okay. Okay, and for women, one thing that you should know is that when you bend your arm like this, nampak tak macam tajam sini, you know? And that's the advantage Setajam of it. heels perempuan. <laughs> Setajam heels perempuan. Yeah. So what we can do is, imagine you have this right on the face. Boom. Yeah. So, okay. okay, for here, all right, there's two techniques that you can do. Either swim, okay. and then elbow, and then find a way out. It's always okay. about escaping. Okay. Self-defense is always okay. about escaping. Yep. Now, if you can't swim, I call this swimming the arms, okay? If you can't swim it out here, put your hands in a fist, two fists, okay. and just slam wow. right over the elbow. Nampak tak macam the bend of the elbow right, ni? Right, right. So you bend it down because the body naturally moves it down. Okay. So you use the fist, just pop, and then elbow, and just find oh. your way out. And that's it. And that's it. And we find our way out of life. <laughs> yeah, you <laughs> gotta get out of the way. way. All right? Okay, just let's do it. Second, it's right all right, away. so you're Should gonna... Should I be... Okay, okay. Yes. Thank God. So now... I didn't want to hurt you. So no, you're... Oh, yeah. oh wow. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. So, okay, you're gonna be the small set of guys who are being attacked. Help me! All right, so you got here. Okay. Okay, so Meiji's the wall. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so what you're gonna do, you can either, either swim, bang. and then elbow, run. And then find your way out. Yeah, okay. it's always Boom. so you move in the direction where you can run. So if yep. this is a wall, okay. and you need the path, cause the path you you can lari. Yep. You lari pergi sini. Takkan okay. you nak Correct. run to the wall. Memang so, lagi dua tu memang yeah. macam juga lah. So lah. when you so if this is a wall, and that's the way out. Yeah. You're yeah. gonna elbow towards the way out okay, and then lari. Okay. Let's just say that this is the exit. Okay. okay. okay let's so what it. you're gonna do? Okay. Now you're gonna do oh. the second yeah. one where you're gonna. Put okay. the arm over the elbow. So it's like this and like, how do you do it? Oh, so oh, what you're going like... to do, so you put your hands here. Okay. Why you do this? Because you want to engage your forearm. Right. Bring it over the elbow. Bang. Okay. Yes, That's right. okay. okay. Ready? Okay. And go. Oh, oh. Give me your lunch money. Bang. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> So that, that's okay, how good. I do it? Yeah, that's yes. good. Yes. That's good. That's good. Let me try. Let me try. Right. I did so, not Meiji. die. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much, oh. Meiji. Thank you very much, Thank Anne. Thank you. Oh, done. We're done. Fantastic. <laughs> To all the girls out there, now you know some steps to self-defend yourself. <laughs>
So if I kacau ke apa ke, you know what to do to me lah. Thank you very much to the <laughs> both of you. Thank you so much. Jangan Daniel. pergi ke mana-mana kerana selepas ini kita ada Dapur Affairs nak mengetahui macam mana kita nak buat kacang pool yang dengar cerita famous dekat Johor dan Singapura. Jumpa lagi selepas ini hanya dalam Feel Good Show. Aduh, penuh. Wow. <laughs> Now, first of all, I feel like you can get harm from anybody yang ada bad intentions to you. But of course, it's very important to have self-defense skills. So, kalau you ada masa and money, then please invest in the self-defense class because you get to meet people and you get to defend yourself. I selalu pegang macam ni kalau I jalan to my car, kat mana-mana, tak kisahlah kat shopping mall ke, tepi mamak ke. Okay, actually, to be honest, I don't know self-defense. Okay, I don't know taekwondo or karate or anything like this. But I think what can we do is we just scream out loud when we are in very quiet place. Okay, and try not to to be in those places. I would say just try to avoid going to places like that. You see, macam snack. Makan untuk alas perut, uh, roti, berkuah, kacang yang ada daging, ayam or sometimes ada kambing. Kacang pun adalah daripada Johor. So benda tu kalau tiap petang kita orang makan-makan bila weekend. Satu makanan yang paling sedap dalam dunia. Uh, dia macam satu makanan ni ada telur and roti tapi saya pernah nampak pak dalam gambar je, saya tak pernah makan. Kacang pool setakat yang saya tahu ialah sejenis makanan lah. Tapi saya tak pernah tengok dan tak pernah tahu rupa dia macam mana. Hello, hello. Selamat kembali ke Feel Good Show. Anda masih lagi bersama saya, Megan Tan. Betul ke apa yang mereka cakap tentang kacang pool? Well, we're about to find out. Hari ini bersama saya dalam segmen Dapur Affairs adalah Kak Zila, pemilik kafe D-Timer, the kacang pool expert. Hello. Hi, Kak Hi, Zila. Megan. Hi, Megan. Selamat datang ke Dapur Feel Good Show. Okey, sebenarnya apakah kacang pool? Okay, kacang pool ini adalah terdiri daripada kacang parang, kacang panggang uh -huh. dan daging cincang. Okay, dan ada sebut-sebut spices dia uh -huh. yang dimakan dengan uh, roti bakar. Roti right. uh, yang telah dibakar. And it sounds delicious already. Dan setahu saya, uh -huh. um, Kak Zila kata yang kacang pool sebenarnya berasal dari Middle Eastern. Ya, ya? betul. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Dan so, untuk resepi hari ini? Okay, resepi hari ini uh, actually telah diolahkan oleh ibu saya Puan Zaliha uh -huh. untuk uh, memenuhi cita rasa orang uh, Melayu uh, Malaysia. Right. Okay. okay. So kita dah tak sabar nak rasa kacang okay. pool Kak Zila. Um, maybe uh, Kak Zila boleh perkenalkan dulu bahan-bahan okay. yang diperlukan okay. untuk kacang pool. Kita perlukan bawang merah, bawang putih halia, uh -huh. daging cincang, uh -huh. kacang panggang, uh -huh. kacang parang, garam, gula and a bit spices, yeah. the ketumbar, jintu manis, uh, mm -hmm. juta halus, and sebut kari daging. Right, and sebelum segmen ni saya bercakap dengan Kak Zila and I tanya dia, kacang pool ni untuk masak kacang putih tak? Like, so easy macam kacang putih, but sebenarnya tidak juga agak complicated dan memakan masa selama satu jam setengah, which is our whole feel good show. Jadi kita tak ada masa begitu lama. We're going to try and show you, tunjukkan kepada anda cara untuk menyediakan kacang pool dalam masa 5 minit. So kalau daging dia tak sempat masak, please forgive us because we're going to show you secara ringkas ni macam mana untuk menyediakan kacang pool. Okey, apakah step pertama? Okey, pertama Zila? kita masukkan I think bawang merah, bawang putih hati. Bawang hadir. merah putih. Dan sebelum ni kita telah pun panaskan uh, minyak dengan minyak sapi. Minyak sapi sekali. And then kita masukkan bawang putih dan bawang merah. Ya. Yeah. Alright. Because of uh, short of time, yeah. so saya masukkan sebut kari daging. Okay. Is it okay, Megan? Yeah, of course. Go ahead. Sebut kari. Sebut kari daging. And what, apakah, sebab, like you say, it's quite complicated untuk masak kacang pool, but what is the main thing yang you kena ingat? Kena ingat? Untuk kacang pool. Cara masak dia. Bila nak empuk, bila nak uh, letak bahan-bahan dia. Ah, so, so macam mana kita nak tahu sebab hari ini um, kita tak cukup masa so kita letak saja barang-barang bahan-bahannya. Mm -hmm. Tapi selalunya macam mana nak tahu bila masa yang sesuai untuk tambah atau letak bahan-bahan? Okay. Bila okey lepas ni bawang merah, bawang putih halia letak sebut kari mm -hmm. dan uh, biar dia pecah minyak. Yep. Dan lepas pecah minyak kita akan letak daging cincang. Okay. So take sebab 
half an hour that time. Ah, uh, jadi selalunya kita tunggu kita kena tunggu uh, masa setengah jam okay. sebelum kita masukkan daging cincang. So I letakkan uh, daging cincang yang ada. Uh -huh. Okay, go right ahead. Ooh, smells so good. Alright, kepada penonton di luar sana, uh, kita bersama Kak Zila, pemilik Cafe D Timer hari ini yang menunjukkan kepada kita cara untuk menyediakan kacang pool dan disebabkan kacang pool ini sebenarnya ambil masa satu jam setengah untuk masak kita akan tunjukkan secara ringkas sahaja step by step proses untuk memasak kacang pool okay after the daging kita akan tunggu daging untuk masak yes and that one usually takes how long ah uh, setengah jam setengah jam juga yeah. see that's why it takes so long All right, okay. and we don't have one and a half hours today, so. Actually, sampai so... daging cincang ni uh, kering. Right, so okay. kita kena tunggu sampai daging cincang ni kering. Mm -hmm. Tapi, like I said, kita akan mempercepatkan proses hari ini dan seterusnya selepas daging okay. cincang. Bila daging cincang dah kering, kita mm -hmm. akan letakkan air, ya, Megan? Okay, so lepas dah kering, kita, kita, kita letak. Kita, wait, kita letaknya dulu. Uh, this is ketumbar, uh, jintan halus dan jintan kasar. Okay. okay, let's go for it. And then air, is it? Okay, air. Tapi sepatutnya kita kena tunggu setengah jam, ya? Mm -hmm. Disclaimer, tunggu setengah jam. <laughs> Alright, anda okay. boleh lihat di Kaca TV anda sekarang resepi untuk kacang pool. Kita ada daging cincang, mm -hmm. minyak Dan... sapi, mm -hmm. lada hitam. Dan kita patut keringkan dia dulu. Okay, mm -hmm. keringkan dulu dan after dia dah kering, dia menggelegak dan kita letak kacang panggang dan kacang parang. Ah, okay. This is about... Would you say these are the main yes. main ingredients? Uh, I mean, the main ingredients is kacang daging cincang, uh, this uh, baked beans dan kacang parang. Alright, okay. Jadi kita kena masukkan semua. Ingat ya, kena tunggu kering dulu. Mm -hmm. And then we will show you the final product. It is not as watery as what you're seeing right now. Okay, one thing, And... Megan, kalau kita nak letakkan kacang parang ni, kita kena uh, api kena perlahan, takut dia melekat. Right. Uh -huh. Okay, satu lagi tips untuk penonton di luar sana, api kena perlahankan bila nak letak kacang ni sebab takut apa? Takut dia melekat. Melekat. Uh -huh. Alright. Dan kita masukkan seterusnya. Dan bila uh, actually dah mendidih, uh -huh. dan kita letakkan uh, gar, uh, what is this? Uh, black pepper, white pepper dan sebut perasa. Okay? Uh -huh. And I'm guessing and untuk ni ikut cita rasa garam dan gula. Huh? This is garam and garam gula. Garam dan gula. Okay. Alright. Okay. okay. Itulah dia. One and a half hours yang kita telah compactkan <laughs> dalam masa lima minit untuk tunjukkan kepada anda cara-cara untuk menyediakan kacang pool. Dan sekarang kita pun ada the final product kacang pool yang telah disediakan oleh Kak Zila okay. sebelum ni yang dimakan dengan roti yeah. and I'm gonna is it okay if okay. I give it a go? Right, I'm right. gonna try it. Alright. Let's go. Mm, it's okay? Maybe? It's really good. Really? And disclaimer, I don't really like to eat baked beans <laughs> but I love curry jadi Memang sangat sedap. So, ini sedap. boleh pengganti baked beans you lah. Ya, yeah, I know. Next time, I'm going to eat baked beans but only eat baked beans in kacang pool. Okay. Okay, sebelum kami mengakhiri segmen ini, Kak Zila, terima kasih kerana sudah datang ke Feel Good Show untuk menunjukkan kepada kita cara menyediakan kacang pool. Ada tak kata-kata akhir untuk penonton di luar okay. sana? Okay, anyway, thank you, Megan, for uh, invite saya kat sini. Okay, uh, anda boleh cuba resepi kacang pool di rumah atau uh -huh. anda boleh uh, datang ke kafe kami di Timer Cafe di Wangsa Maju, Seksyen okay. 10. Atau kami akan buka uh, new outlet kami di Daman Sarang Utama pada bulan November, bulan hadapan. Alright, okay. dengar tu Cubalah kacang pool, resepi kacang pool ni sendiri ataupun pergi ke cafe di Timer. Kita akan berhenti seketika bila kita kembali nanti. Kita ada ramai artis-artis yang akan bersama kita untuk membincangkan satu topik yang agak serius. Makna kebebasan untuk seorang gadis. Jumpa lagi selepas ini dalam Feel Good Show. Okay, thank you. Bye. It's really good. Hai, Assalamualaikum. Saya Izzul Islam. Jangan lupa saksikan Feel Good Show setiap Isnin hingga Jumaat, jam 9 hingga 10.30 pagi, hanya di NTV7. Feel it.
Farah. Hai, selamat kembali ke Feel Good Show. Anda masih lagi bersama Kianu Azman dan Megan Tan. Seperti mana yang kita telah cakap tadi, hari ini merupakan Hari Gadis Sedunia. Jadi yep. untuk segmen Community. Kita nak cakap tentang kebebasan wanita. Pada you, what does It means that, you know, I can do whatever I want um, without people attacking dictating me. Dictating apa yeah, yang you patut me. buat, kan? Yeah. Dan hari ini kita ada banyak guest hari ini. Yes. Maybe Megan lah patut panggil hari ini. Jom kita perkenalkan tetamu kita pada hari ini. Ibu Rose, seorang pakar kasih sayang dan Betul keluarga. Lah. Kita juga ada pelakon-pelakon um, Pauline Tan dan Zoe Rahman. And of course... Kita ada Supergirls dari DFAM. Ya. Yeah. Alright. Ibu Rose, Hai. di mana kahayaan naik? <laughs> Where's the entourage? Where's the entourage? Hi, Ibu Rose. Coming soon. Coming okay. soon. Okay, oh wow. So, there we go. Zoe, Pauline. What's up, what's up? Fashionably. Hello, bro. Zoe, how are you? Good, good, good. Hello, hello, hello. Good morning. Morning, morning. Deep fam, deep fam, deep fam. Deep fam. All right, see the We've got the super girls in the house, DFAM. <laughs> Sofia, Cik Manggis dan juga Azir Azir, Shafina. Shafina. Silakan. Okay, jangan pun duduk. Sorry, okay. tak cukup tempat. So, we have to <laughs> okay, give you guys the stool. Right. Okay, untuk segmen community pada hari ini, kami nak bercakap tentang makna kebebasan bagi seorang gadis. Yes. So, we have to start with the gadis-gadis yang lawa-lawa <laughs> dulu. Lah. Yeah. Yeah. So, you guys are exempted <laughs> dulu. No. We will start with DFAM. Yes. Yeah. What? Is freedom to you, makna kebebasan? Yeah. As a girl living in today's world. Mm. <laughs> For me, I think uh, to me, lah, freedom is about being yourself without <laughs> anyone's suspicion. I love that. Right? Azira? <laughs> like for me, I rasa on? bukan pasal being yourself je. I mean, you can... Macam mana? Macam... Kita have a freedom to say anything because we 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 are women. Orang selalu pandang rendah kat kita, and yes. then I rasa macam kita adalah contoh terbaik untuk orang-orang di luar sana. Okay, for me, freedom is more on um, you can achieve what you want to achieve in life. Yeah. Um, tak kisah. Like you can be a tennis player like Serena Williams, you can be a wrestler or whatever. Like yeah. for women, you can do it exactly how men do it. Like, sorry. Yeah. But, yeah. Exactly. Like that. In your way exactly, anymore. or maybe even better. Yeah. Oh. Anyways, oh. Oh. Pauline, what about you? Uh, for me, I think freedom means having a voice of our own. Mm -hmm. So it's like um, freedom to express ourselves and also um, to stand where uh, to have a stand. On things. Right. You know, I love freedom. all the answers. I'm gonna <laughs> steal all of that when somebody asks me the question She's about freedom. About that. <laughs> yeah, tapi ada juga yang salah tafsir mengenai kebebasan, kan? Yeah. And that's what we want to talk to Ibu Rose, Ibu Rose. about. Okay. Yes. Last but not least, Ibu Rose. Okay, thank you. To me, freedom is about love. Oh. Yeah. Oh. 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 And love means what Fazira mentioned just now is to be the example. So lead by examples. Right. That's L. Right. Oh, we optimistic about ourselves. Bersangka baik mengenai diri kita bahawa kita punya potensi yang sangat besar. So orang tak boleh nak subjugate kita. Yeah. Mm. Kita ada suara kita. Right? And virtuous. Iaitu kita mempunyai sifat-sifat terpuji dan cantik. And that kita boleh mencantikkan dunia ini melalui uh, pergaulan kita dan sebagainya. Mm -hmm. And E, kita empower other people. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. Empower. I like the word empower. But women or girls should not compete with one another. Yeah. We, yeah. we should lift another. everyone up. And should not compete with men as well. Mm. Women are strong because they are women. Mm -hmm. Men are strong because yeah, they are yeah, men. Yeah, so we need men and women in this world. Mm. We don't need just men. We don't need just women. We need we both. both. Right. Yes. Right now, jump to see if satu VT nak tengok kebebasan wanita ni ada ke tidak sekarang ni. Hi. Hi. You to bus ke? Yeah. Oh, so you do area around here? Uh, tak, ada dekat Aira Damansara. But since you know I selalu pergi sana, maybe I can get your number ke? Sure, boleh. Boleh, boleh. Okay, what's your number? 017. And your Instagram? Sure, uh, oh, okay. it's Liana. Follow. Is it? Okay. So, I tunggu sekali lah dengan you eh. Excuse me? 
Oh, sorry, sorry. Uh, ah. Tangan you, I, I nampak macam lembut je. Ganggu memang lembut. Ah. Ya. Yeah. Thanks. Boleh? I, I suka perempuan tangan lembut macam tu. Ah, thank you. Uh, you punya lotion. <coughs> Apa? Ah, uh, Actually, I baru beli lotion baru. Ya yeah, yeah. ke? Yeah. Ya. Hey, gadis cantik. Pepper spray his time. Eh, jangan terlalu ayat saya pula. Um, okay, I introduce myself. Nama saya James. <coughs> but you may panggil saya sayang ke, baby ke. Up to you. How about my boyfriend? Terus jadi boyfriend you. Saya <laughs> okey je. B. Yes, I can see me. I can never look at you the same way again, can you? You know I would never do that. But anyway, speaking of men breaching women's freedom macam tu, yeah. nak tanya pada Zoe lah. Finally, macam oh, akhirnya tanya saya juga. Okay, Zoe, you rasa perempuan ada tak kebebasan yang they all talked about just now? Do you think they have achieved that already? Actually, kan zaman sekarang ni, uh, tak kira lelaki perempuan. Uh, so, perempuan pun boleh melakukan apa yang lelaki boleh lakukan. Macam boleh naik gunung, lepas tu macam dekat Arab Saudi, dia orang sekarang dah boleh buat kereta. That's right. Yes, last time tak boleh. Yeah. So, uh, dunia dah membuka mata kepada kamu wanita. Yes. yes. Uh, wow. Well, 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 well. I know, and I can hear all the girls going, Zoe, you Zoe, understand Zoe. us. Oh, kita lah korang ni. That, and just like what you guys say, dunia sudah berubah and yeah. it's a great time to be girls today as well because we get to do what we want to do and just like Ibu Ros cakap tadi, we're not competing against each other. We're yeah. just, we want just, you know, equal opportunities. One yeah. another. Yeah, so kita nampak terima kasih kepada tetamu-tetamu kita pada hari ini yang telah membuka mata dan minda kami dalam sama community pada kali ini. Makna kebebasan untuk gadis sempena hari gadis sedunia. Jangan ke mana-mana selepas ini, kita akan masih akan lagi bersama The girls and Zoe juga. The kumbang. <laughs> so kita jumpa lagi selepas ini dalam Feel, Feel Good Show. Show. Women empowerment. Women empowerment. Come on, girls. Come on, come on, all my girls. Single ladies in my super mall. Working girls. Don't believe me. Don't believe me. We gon' show how we made it. How we made it. Feel it.你为什么想当保镖我要光伏正义除强扶弱我想要独立想要改变想要保护自己的能力我们就生活在一个这样败坏的社会却没有超人保护的城市成为保镖之后我的孩子就会这样成为人一样吗因为我不怕死更不要更
yes. Drama romantic comedy. Romantic comedy. So you macam Romeo lah dalam Romeo drama lah. ni lah. Uh. Apa kelainan drama ni dengan drama-drama lain yang pernah uh, buat? Yang bestnya dia syuting dekat uh, Kedah, uh, dekat Gunung Gunung Jerai. Wow. Lepas tu dia cakap tara lah. Oh. Ada ramai pelakon. Ada Abang uh, Ropi. Okay. Lepas tu ada Kak Marisa, ada uh, Adik Fasha nama Alicia. Alicia Sanda. Ah. And you cakap tadi, you shoot kat Kedah, jadi yes. kena guna lorak utara lah. Oh, bukan, saya orang KL, tapi, tapi bercinta utara. dengan orang utara. Oh, so, tapi saya nak, nak tak 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 kena cakap utara. So, oh. Ah, senang je. Macam je. Cuba lah, sikit hang cakap. Awak tak habis yang awak awak. Habis yang Orang Kedah, orang Kedah yang cakap, malu hang cakap macam ni lah. Tak apalah, hang stop right there lah. But anyway, speaking of Anugerah Screen 2018, jangan lupa saksikan ASK 2018 pada 2 hari bulan November ini, jam 9 malam hanya di TV3. Sama-sama lah kita saksikan drama mana akan menang drama terbaik ASK 2018. Yes. Mm, and switching gears a little bit, we have D-Fam in the house with us today Ooh. as well. Super, super Sebab hari ini merupakan Hari Gadis Sedunia as we told you earlier. Yeah. And we've talked about freedom. Yeah. Makna kebebasan untuk gadis. What about empowerment? Because you guys have a very strong song. Yeah. The first time I heard it, I loved it. It made me feel powerful. Yeah. So what What are the response from the girls out there actually? Like when they heard Super Girls? Um, Adakah mereka rasa macam ada kekuatan selepas mendengar lagu We actually got an email. Kita yeah. dapat email daripada a single mom uh. yang dia cakap actually the song uh, literally what the motivate her lah. Yeah, motivate her in like raising a kid and also being very independent and strong. So good to know. So we have that kind of email from mothers. So yeah. macam, not just single mom, I think. Yeah. From kids pun ada juga. Yes, betul. Diorang, macam kids yang yang rasa macam lagu tu macam memang ke power. Yang right. macam, alam, suka sangat. Yes. Oh. What, what, what do you think? I mean, <laughs> what is the response Cik that you're paling best in front of that? I actually, um, we made it lah because, um, because we, bila kita start buat DFM, kita memang nak start um, doing something else, you know, macam kita memang nak empower uh, women. Because uh, sekarang kita tahu yang um, kids nowadays semua dah ada handphone, yeah. Right? Yeah. and semua orang dah boleh tengok media sosial. So, kita tak nak lah influence uh, all these kids dengan macam benda-benda yang yang boleh bring them down yeah. ataupun yeah, yang negative. macam nak cerita pasal That's lagu lagu cinta tu dah boring to, to us lah That's right. a lot and, so you and, want and you guys are celebrities and adakah yang penting like how important is it to you to menjadi macam role model it's very uh, important yeah, you guys yeah, to very you know very, very, very actually what, 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 what we promote on Instagram is also very important yeah. like yeah. not everything we can promote True. because kids follow us so kalau yeah. kita buat even though we are older but they tend to do it too you cannot set a bad example lah yeah. it's not tak kisah juga sebab apa sebab kita orang pun macam uh, muda kan? Yeah. Uh, so, tahu orang muda. We all get any of us. Okay, now, yeah, being, in the, being in the show business, in the entertainment industry, yes. adakah uh, you three rasa there's women empowerment in the entertainment industry di Malaysia itself? Of course. Ada? Mm -hmm. Yes. Ramai? I rasa semua orang pun... Um, I rasa all... Oh, <laughs> oh, Tapi <laughs> ramai tu Cik Manggis. No, I mean, um, apa, apa soalan ni? <laughs> Dalam entertainment industry Malaysia, do you think women empowerment is there already? Oh uh, yeah, actually ada lah. Um, it is there but yeah, it's it not there. there yet betul-betul. Like we can do so yeah. much yeah. more. Yeah. 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 We what can about, show more. I mean Pauline, you have a lot of followers on Instagram as well. And I think a lot of people look up to you as an artist, That's as right. an actress as okay. well. Like, what would be the message yang you nak sampaikan <laughs> kepada gadis-gadis muda yang mengikuti perkembangan you? I think like DFAM, um, it's very important to, to convey messages to tell young ladies out there that you can do it. You know, to yeah. just be courageous and be confident in yourself. Because there are so many times young girls out there, they face issues like people telling them that they are not capable enough mm -hmm. or they're not strong enough, things yeah. like that. So, yeah. things like them. They, they are the best examples where, you know, you can stand for yourself. Yeah. So. Right, you tahu tak dulu macam uh, sorry. No, it's okay. No, I'm going to do it. We can talk for ages. Yeah. Manggis, dia tahan dari tadi. No, no, I just want to share with you lah. Yeah. Because um, sometimes kan, I macam tu fikir dekat rumah. Okay. Mm -hmm. I rasa macam, nanti satu hari, because sekarang ni macam um, kita selalu buat campaign. Not campaigns lah, we always yeah. macam okay. spread out. Macam, oh, women power mind and all. Sampai so, so, I rasa, macam ni I fikir sorang-sorang. I rasa, I, I just want this one day yang macam benda ni tak payah kita nak buat lagi because every semua orang dah ada that so yeah. we don't have to do that anymore you know 
I I, I just rasa macam tu because because semua women dah memang empower pun dah power so macam tak payah bagi kesedaran ni. Okay, last but not least, what all of you guys, okay, pandang kamera this one and check up. We love you girls, including you Zoe. Uh, yeah, you. Yeah. Especially you. We love you. Especially you. Hold hands lah. Okay. No. Okay, on the count of three, okay. we love you girls. Mwah. Okay. That's oh. the only okay. okay. One. Two. Two. Three. Okay, this camera, this camera. Oh, okay. One. Okay. One. Two. Three. We, we love you girls. Oh. All right. Yeah. Terima kasih. Baru betul. Terima kasih kepada Pauline, Cik Manggi, Zoe, Azira dan juga Sofia kerana sudi datang ke Fugu Show untuk memberi kekuatan kepada gadis-gadis di luar sana. Dan yep. tanpa membazirkan masa lagi, kita nak menjemput D-Fam because we want to feel the strength. Yeah. Yeah. Right now, so you guys have to dance with it. Yes, Pentas FGS. <laughs> Untuk menyanyikan lagu hit mereka, Supergirl. Sepanjang yeah. menonton di luar sana, okay. terima kasih kerana menonton Feel Good Show. Dan harap-harap hari ini, as girls, and maybe also guys out there, you feel empowered today. Yeah, we love and we respect women more today. Ya Lepas segala penyedahan tentang wanita, tentang yeah. freedom for the women out there. Jadi, thank you for watching. Marilah sama-sama kita saksikan Supergirls oleh D-Fam. Let them slow me down, move it up.